Hello and welcome to another edition of Communication Connection. I'm your host, Terry Likes. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, if you've ever wondered how Mississippi State University attracts so many bright and energetic students, we have an answer for you today. Hannah Coleman is our guest and joins us. She is the academic advising, or rather recruitment coordinator for yes. the College of Arts and Sciences. Yes. So you have a lot of duties and we're gonna untangle some of that, but thank you so <laughs> much for joining us. I know, very honored to be here. You are a student who studied public relations as an undergraduate. You're from Columbus, but tell us, I know that's not far away, but what was it that attracted you to Mississippi State first as an undergrad? Well, I never wanted to go anywhere else. I grew up a Bulldog. It was no question that I was going to go here. Of course, I toured one time or two times just to figure it out, you know, what it would be like as a student, but I always knew I wanted to go here and that made me feel comfortable. Even though I am from Columbus, I was one of few that came straight to Mississippi State. A lot of friends and classmates went to a community college because they offered great scholarships. Luckily, I was able to come to state and never left. Like you said, I did communication, public relations, and just here I am. <laughs> well, we're certainly glad that you are in your role now that you've been doing for quite a while um, as the recruitment coordinator for the college, and we'll talk more about that. But you work with so many incoming mm -hmm prospective high school students and of course their parents are accompanying them for scholars day and preview days and things like that it must be very rewarding to represent your alma mater in this way yes and you know when I talk to students whether they are high school students or transfer students I work with them as well I try to get the message across that we truly are a family and we have everything you need here. I'm speaking from experience. I know they hear that and they probably think, well, she's just saying that because that's her job, but it's true. And when they tour campus and they set foot on campus, they say, okay, I understand what this is like. I get that family feeling. And then once they get here, they know it all to be true. And their parents trust us with their, you know, with their student. So, it makes it very rewarding because I'm just speaking from experience and being a staff member in the Dean's office, serving as the admissions coordinator, I'm able to see the opportunities our students have and I'm excited to see them take advantage of those opportunities. Well, you work as a team with so many here on campus. You're one reason why we've had record enrollment growth for so many years now. When you are talking with parents and their children, what are some of the things you hear, the questions you get asked about the university? I think it's different from the parent questions and the student questions we get. So the parent questions, they want to know what my son or daughter is going to do after graduation. Are they going to get a job? <laughs> are you going to prepare them for a career for graduate school? And the students more so are just trying to figure out, I don't even know what I want to major in. So the parents are thinking of the future because they want to see their students succeed, and that's our job, and we try to reassure them of that. But the students truly are so naive and so lost, and they feel like they aren't prepared until they get here and they see the team and the family they have supporting them. Like you said, I could not do this job alone. In our office, I am the only one that recruits, but I couldn't do it without the academic team and the research team and the alumni team who also help give the students the, here are the opportunities you have as a student. And then when the parents start picking that up and they say, okay, I really can start to see based on what other students have done at Mississippi State, what alumni have gone on to do, that's when they start to trust us. You mentioned family and students when they're considering schools are usually have several in mind. What is it that makes Mississippi State a destination? Again, I think that they see when they step foot on campus that they're not just a number. That when they go to other colleges, you know, I've heard that they get a tour and they feel like they were just there, pushed around, taken one place or the other. A few questions were answered and that was that. But when they step foot on campus, they actually get to see, you know, current students and what they're doing and they get to meet with, you know, if they want uh, they're interested in communication, they actually get to meet with the communication department. And then they see what kind of classes they're going to be taking and they learn more about the opportunities. And that gives them the well-rounded feel of college. They learn about housing and fun. 
extracurricular activities, but they also learn about academics while they're here. Well, you'll appreciate this. I was talking with a parent and student recently, and they had also visited the University of Alabama, and they said, they're, and they're from Alabama, but they appreciated Mississippi State because while it's a big school, it still had a small school feel because we were able to walk them around the campus mm -hmm. and interact with them one-on-one, -on -one, whereas at Alabama, they piled them on a bus and kind of <laughs> took a driving tour of the campus. So uh, right. a little, just a little bit different atmosphere because they have many more students, so right. a different feel for the campus. Right. But along the way, you decided to go get a master's degree and add to your professional credentials. Tell us about what that means for you. I think it means everything because I appreciate both sides of education that I've received here. When I was a senior, I did not know what I wanted to do, but I did enjoy school. You know, as a senior, I know a lot of people might be burnt out at that point, but I wasn't there because I enjoyed my time in the classroom. My senior year, about spring semester, I had finally decided I wanted to go to graduate school, but I was lost. Again, I was starting the process over. I didn't know a thing about graduate school. So what I tell students all the time, go talk to your professors, go talk to those advisors. So I started to do that. I'd heard great things about the master's in uh, public policy and public administration through the political science department. So I went and talked to the advisor and the, the professor who was over the program, and it just clicked. And I thought, wow, I actually could see myself doing this. Right after senior year, went straight to grad school. Shout out to one of the best professors I had, Karen Brown, in undergrad. She allowed me the opportunity to serve as a graduate assistant in the dean's office. That turned into this job, and I never left the dean's office. Stayed in school, graduated, and have been doing this job ever since. Well, good for you. Try to keep good people around on this campus yes. <laughs> and, and pay it forward. Right. So that's that's important. Well, many of the people you have met over the years probably remember you as Hannah Bateman, but in the last year or so, you are married. Congratulations. You're now Hannah yes. Coleman, and if you just joined us, uh, the recruitment coordinator for the College of Arts and Sciences. So tell us about married life now and <laughs> life in Starkville, and I guess as a tease, uh, I know that you and your husband share a love of animals. <laughs> he very much so does. Uh, we met when we were in undergrad. We were student workers together. The Office of Public Affairs, it's where we met. Uh, we went our, you know, we were friends. And then, like I said, I continued on to graduate school. He went to vet school here. About three, four years later, we reconnected and we just said, hey, never stop thinking about you. You're the one for me. Stayed together and we were engaged and married April 9th. So not too long ago, but it was one of those things where, you know, you just, you know when you know. And yes, he, we do love animals. He is a veterinarian at Smith Animal Hospital here in Starville. He absolutely loves it. You know, not only is he getting to take care of animals and helping make them better, you know, when they're at the vet, sometimes they're there for serious issues, but he gets to meet people and it's always fun when he comes home and says, oh, I met so-and-so that you work with or so-and-so on campus that they knew you. So we were always able to make connections that way. Well, that's great. And I had the good fortune in the last year or so because you reached out and to the benefit of our students, you said, I would like to teach a class. And fortunately, the dean freed up your time to where you could come teach a class for us. But now you're, again, giving back because you're able to teach students the fundamentals of communication in an introduction to communication course. We're very glad to have you doing that for us. And teaching, again, is, is part of the rewarding element of working on campus as well. Yes, and thank you for that opportunity. I say it all the time. I'm grateful for Dr. Travis and Dr. Anderson that they saw me fit to teach a class within the college and they trusted me to do that on top of my duties. I absolutely love it. I'm in my third semester right now. My students, it's hard to believe, are wrapping up the semester. It's Thanksgiving next week. I won't see them much after that. But I, I love it because I did love being in the classroom. And when I graduated, I felt like I was missing something because I'd been in school my whole life. When I left graduate school and I just started working, obviously I enjoy my job because, you know, I do it every day and I haven't left and I get to work with the ambassadors of college. And that helped me keep my love of working with current students, not just incoming students. But getting to teach, 
it's a different side. It's not students that are necessarily jumping up and down to be in class. You know, you have students that are taking it because it fulfills a public speaking requirement. So they're not crazy about the class, but I always love when students come up to me after and they say, thank you so much. I feel like my public speaking skills have improved. I actually got an email from a student last week. She was one of my first students that I taught. And she said that public speaking skills had improved tremendously and she wanted me to review a speech that she was giving to her sorority. And that just meant so much to me. Well, so teaching, working in the family atmosphere, recruiting the high school students. But one of the things you do, you mention ambassadors, but you also work graduation. So you not only get to see the high school seniors, but you get to see the students cap and gown getting ready to depart the university. And that has to be fun. Yes, I, we love working graduation, seeing all the students. They're so happy and we're so proud of them. You know, graduating college, I tell students freshmen when they're at orientation, I have a slide that I talk about graduation and I tell them that great job for making it to college, pat yourself on the back because that is something that not everybody is afforded the opportunity. But you have either two years as a transfer student or four years as a freshman to make the most of your opportunity at Mississippi State. That when you walk across that stage, you're proud of the degree you received, but at the same time, you're sad to go, it's bittersweet. And I just try to hit home so hard that you have to make the most of your opportunities and we will help you but ultimately it is up to you so that when we see you again at graduation we can say great job you know you did it what final advice would you have for any students or parents who are watching this program always reach out for help and not I say reach out for help but what I've realized it's not necessarily always help that you need it's just someone to talk to and whether you are a freshman or transfer student trying to figure out college life, just talk, just reach out to somebody and that person will connect you with the person you need to be connected with. Also for current students, go talk to your professors. That is another slide I have at orientation is to take advantage of the professors, the advisors, the staff you have. And then I tell them if you've ever met a Mississippi State alumni at any point in your life in anywhere in the nation or the world, you know that they love Mississippi State. There is no secret about that. So talk to them as well. You know, everybody's willing to talk to you about MSU. Well, I agree. And Hannah, thank you so much for joining us here on Communication Connection. We appreciate all you do for the College of Arts and Sciences and for the university. I'm Terry Likes. Thank you so much for watching Communication Connection. We hope to see you here next time.